Hello, 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 it's Nits for Sanity, and thank you for joining me today. Today I'm doing another similar video to what I did last weekend with another weekend challenge, if you will, for me. You may recall this um, coaster. <laughs> it's a set of coasters that I did. It was my first unboxing from Timu. And I thought today, let's see if I can get through a few of these coasters and see what they look like when I put on the drills. I do have everything kitted up already, as you can see here. Um, this is also a Timu purchase that I am using. It was just, uh, they're actually, they're much too big for the crystals, but um, I thought I wanted to give it a try, see how it works out. I will say, move this up here. This is kind of hard to use. It actually came with three less than what I squeezed in here, but I... I bought, okay, so I bought these 12 individuals separately. And then at a later time, I saw that you could buy a container like this that then had another 12 in there. But I forced in another row, so I have 15 in here using my 12 singles. And I will say that does make it really kind of too tight of a squeeze. Um... So not my preferred kit up method here at all. I think this would be much better for stickers, which is what I probably will end up doing in the future. But as you even just one handed, I cannot, I can't just get one of these containers out. It's too difficult. They're just too tight. And when you take out a third row, it becomes kind of sloppy. They don't stay in there really nice. Um, which isn't a problem if like you're storing stickers that way, but definitely with drills, you know, I want to have them in order. You know, I have everything labeled. I want them in order. So um, that's just a brief with how I kit up this package. Uh, like I said, definitely not my recommended way. And I don't think I will be using this for that again. And like I said, I mean, as you can see, there's just way, <laughs> way too much room in each of these containers too. They're just too large for this, but I thought I'll give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead, I did, this did come with the bottoms not on the coasters, the acrylic tops here. So I did go through and I put the little cork bottoms on all of them, it's just a sticker. And let's see what these look like after I get a couple of them completed. Hello, just a quick little update. I am about halfway done with coaster number one. There have been no difficulties with anything at all. Um, it's been going real smooth. The stickiness of the coaster seems really very good. It's, it's plenty sticky. It's keeping the drills there. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far, no complaints. We'll see what the finished product looks like pretty quickly, but right now it's been pretty smooth sailing. Hello. So here's an update. I have three coasters done at this point. Uh, they're pretty cute. My critiques are actually very very minimal so I will say there is quite a bit of space in some of these Let's see if I can show you kind of well like here do you see how there's quite a bit of space in there there's a lot of space kind of in different spots on all of these and sometimes I've been filling in some of that space for example this flower, these two drills up top here, I actually added in. There was plenty of room to be able to do that. Other times, like here, I have left it alone. I probably could have squeezed in one green drill and one blue drill right there or put a blue drill there, um, but decided to leave it alone. Uh, of course, right down here, like I originally showed you, I probably could squeeze in two or three clear crystals, maybe even put one right here on the edge. But without knowing how many crystals I have, I am using discretion for when I will add in some of those extra draws. But like this flower up here, it just really didn't make sense to me why there was not those two drills at the end there. It, it, looked, it looked funny. It looked off. I'm considering still putting a clear crystal one right there as well, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um... So yeah, that's the only real critique. Otherwise, the crystals are doing fine. I think they're pretty cute. I don't always understand everything about the images. Uh, like this one. I 
thing just made my screen darker. This one, I can't quite tell, you know, is, is this bird like standing on grass? And is this like tall weeds or grass behind him? Like I can't always tell exactly what the image is meant to be. Yeah, this one confuses me a little bit. I don't quite understand this one. But otherwise, I mean, they're pretty cute. Yeah, I think so far they're definitely really, really cute. These will, of course, have to be sealed. But um, yeah, so that's that update at this point. I don't know how many more of these I will do and show you, but I'll try and get a couple more done to show you what I have. This was a very large set. There are seven more left in there. Uh, it was a set of 10. It was larger than just a six or eight set. This, so there were 10 coasters in here. But so far, I mean, I'm impressed. Again, this is just a Timu purchase. It was not, it was not like a super expensive purchase. And just kind of curious what all these Timu diamond art activities how they kind of end up. So yeah, I'll try and get a couple more done and show you the results of those. Hey guys, so I'm back. I've been working and I did think of another thing that I meant to point out to you and I forgot. So this brown crystal, there are like two different browns in there, as you can see here quite clearly. Um, I got a couple more up in here, uh, a couple more over here. There were so many of this other color brown and with this darker that I thought, you know, I'm just going to use them and I'll just put them down randomly on my pieces. And hopefully that will just blend in, maybe add a little more character to each one. So this one that I'm currently working on, as you can see, maybe on the right there, there's one other lighter color brown on there as well. So that is uh, something that I did want to point out is that there are like two different color browns in these crystals. Um, it really doesn't bother me. Like I said, you know, I just, just I plopped them down, try to make it look random, blend it in. And I, you know, I don't think it's a problem at all. But that was one thing that I did think of that I wanted to point out when I finished doing the little brown section on this particular coaster. Um, then the other thing that I wanted to share with you is, so here is an image of my August month calendar that I completed last weekend from Timu. And that is a picture taken at six feet away. And this is what it looks like from that distance. So this is what my husband was looking at when I quizzed him last week. If you don't know, don't know what I'm talking about, definitely go back and check out that video. So that is a Timu post review on their little, they call them a 20 by 20 centimeter calendar set, but it really worked out to, what did I say it was? Was it 17 by 17 centimeters in the end? Was it even that large or was it as small as 15 by 15? I don't even remember now what I ended up measuring it at. Go back and watch that. And, um, you know, overall, mostly satisfied, but disappointed because I feel like I cannot use these as gifts because I still, while I do feel like from a distance of six feet, I could kind of see how my husband could read that. And I was definitely impressed at that distance. I could kind of make everything out better. Um, it's just not good enough of a quality to be able to gift that item. So that's kind of a disappointment, but it is good enough that I do want to complete the set. I can use them at home. And looking through the set, August is one of the few months with words that little. So I think most of the other months are actually probably going to turn out just fine. I did think of a couple of different ways that I maybe could tweak the cool off with watermelon and um, get rid of the words and make it look decorative despite having the round drills on there and not square. But I don't know if I'm going to do that unless I relook at the other months and see several. You know, I need at least two more months additional that are kind of with the small letters like that where I know it's just not going to work on that 
tiny of a canvas. So I definitely wanted to share that with you as well and just kind of give you like a post update on that. All right, well, I'm going to go back and continue working on these coasters. And like I said, I'm not sure how many I'm going to get done, but, um, you know, I don't imagine I'm going to finish them all this weekend, but whatever I've done, I will share with you and then I will post this video. Thanks, guys. Hello. So it is now Sunday and I am going to finish this weekend challenge. <laughs> um, I kind of went to town on these coasters yesterday and I have all except two of them done. So I'm going to finish up these last two. Uh, much to my husband's displeasure. See, this is my uh, bedroom diamond art like set up here. I got this little table and then like I got this light thing that flips up and that can turn on. See, it's pretty awesome, but um, yeah, I don't mind my messy bedroom here. But um, so last night I was diamond painting till I don't know what time when my poor husband rolled over in bed and he's like, are you about done? Uh, yeah, I can be done. Except it was just so, like, I was just so in the zone. It was awesome. I just, oh yeah. So anyway, um, I should get these all done today and then I will show you everything I have. And um, yeah, I'll give you my final thoughts on this Timu crystal art coaster set hello hello so i got all of my coasters done it actually was a pretty fun little project um it went really smooth and now i have it in my head that i might want to make a coaster for every teacher my kids have this year which that could be a lot of teachers um I mean, that could be as many as like 24 teachers, plus, of course, your office staff and other ancillary help that they have. So I may have lost my mind, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm going to quick lay these all out and you can see them all. We got. But these really were fun to do. I'd say maybe a little under an hour to do each one. So this is all of them. Let me know if you have a favorite. Like I like this one quite a bit. I like that one a lot. I like this one a lot. Yeah, let me know what your favorites are. Otherwise, I mean, I had plenty of leftover crystals, so there were plenty of drills. I actually ended up liking how this one looked, but it is a lot of this uh, purpley pink that I had to lay down. So it was not the most exciting one to complete, but I do like the end result to this one quite a bit. I think that's really, really cute. Um, so I did have plenty of crystals. I had no problem completing all of these kits. Like I said, a few of them I did add a couple of crystals just when there were some empty spots where it was very, very easy for me to add another crystal in there. Um, and other places I left it alone because it was going to be like down here. This is going to be a little tight to try and add any crystals in there. So I left that particular spot alone. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, this was really a lot of fun. Now, I have not sealed these yet, but I will seal them, and then they will be ready to go. I'm actually thinking maybe this will be a wedding gift for my sister, who gets married later this week. So if I can get these sealed in time, I think this would be an okay gift for that. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. But this was... A very pleasurable Timu Diamond Art Craft Kit. I really enjoyed doing this one. And yeah, definitely let me know if you have any favorites. I would love to compare what you like versus what I've enjoyed doing and my final favorites in here. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me with this weekend challenge. And um, 
I am quite pleased with this end result, actually. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, guys, like I always say, please practice kindness. You never know what someone's going through, so just be kind. It's just better and easier in the long run to just show a little bit of extra kindness and patience. And I hope you're showing the same, and I hope that you're having an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll talk with you again real soon.